so now uh, i would try to demonstrate the contouring of plates which are used in the posterior column of the pelvis while fixing the acetabular fracture so something about the anatomy uh, the anterior was a j shaped plate however the posterior is slightly different now this is the ischial fibrosity this is the acetabulum and that is the area so you need the plate so that it buttresses the acetabulum to the best and then it comes on the ischial fibrosity the best and then it doesn't go very anterior because then putting screws here is difficult so typically you want the plate here and then going there and then coming back here and then getting straight so you can see that it is convex here concave here and concave here so it is like the mustache of a rajasthani thakur okay so it has one very deep convexity and two subtle concavity and the other thing you should observe is that there is a dip over here there is a dip over here and it is again convex over here and again there is a dip over here so typically there are three curves one two and three and in both planes in the coronal as well as sagittal planes so let me uh, try and bend the plate for you and then you will understand better so uh, the simple rule of bending these plates is that you do the side bending first that is the c bending and then you do the other bending so let's choose a nine hole plate and give it uh, certain bends so as you saw that there was a central bend there was a central curve which accommodated the acetabulum so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so the central hole gave a deep curve which is which accommodated the acetabular curve this is given so that you can give maximum buttress to the acetabulum and you might move one hole this side and one hole this side to add on to the gentle curve now as you remember both the other hand had a mustache which was going backward let me give me give some more bend over here so you given a central c and now you want to give a reverse c on the opposite side on both the ends you remember that there was a reverse c so you want to give a reverse c so that the plate doesn't go off so that's a reverse c on that side let me give a reverse c on this side also so these are gentle curves but they make a lot of difference when you do the surgery because superiorly there are the gluteal mass which is coming in the way of putting the screws and inferiorly you want the plate to be on the ischial fibrosity so we are almost through with the curves which are along the plate so a gentle here a gentle there and a gentle there and now remember this curve has to be converted for the ischial fibrosity for the acetabulum and for the supraacetabular area so typically you have two holes you have two holes which go into the ischial fibrosity so you will take the third hole and get a hold on the plate and you try to bend it away try to bend it away try to bend it away and then the end part has to come back a bit the end part has to come back a bit so that it doesn't stay very prominent so you're actually you're actually getting it smooth and then again 
in the central part you want to see now this C is larger it accommodates almost three to four holes so let's give the first curve which is not the final curve so there you see the whole plate is bending and now you're getting a you're getting a C here you're getting a C here and then if you don't bend this off this plate is going to remain off so you have to again get it bent so the moustache is there in this plane also you want to bend it off a bit so that's what typically happens in this plane and this plane now this subtle central curve needs to be readjusted by putting on the pelvis and checking so let's check by putting on the pelvis so this was the pelvis which we have marked and here you see so now you see it is almost to your plan however it needs to be contoured here so that it seats better and it needs to be contoured on the top so let's do that and check so the ischial tuberosity bend is actually pretty deep you might need extra pliers to get this right but let's try it without pliers So let's check again. Let's check this also a bit more, a bit more. Yeah, that's it. So we want it as as close to the contour as is needed for a particular patient, so that when we tighten the plate, uh, the provisional reduction is not lost. So now this is almost there. It is off a bit from both the ends. I will try and get all that also corrected. So what I told was if you don't bend this it will keep sitting on the edge of the bone and it will keep lifting the plate. So now we want to just lift it off a bit. There you go. This one still needs a bit of a more of a curve. So let's see if we can do it. You might not be getting the ultimate curve at the ischial diversity because uh, the model which I am using is a very rigid model but in real time you actually have lesser of a prominence there are more of soft tissues over there so let's put it and see almost there now so almost there you can get some curve over there So this needs some amount of understanding and practice both. So typically uh, when I started these I would take around 12 to 15 minutes to contour one plate. The posterior column plate would definitely take larger time than the anterior and also you tend to be more active, accurate in the posterior column because whole of it is visible and you can actually get the contour absolutely right. So we are almost there now. So I hope you understood the three curves, the three curves in both planes. So you would get your screws going down vertically into the ischial diversity one and two. And then you would get three screws, one, two, three in the supraestabular area. And the second plate which we use is invariably almost a straight plate invariably almost a straight plate it starts from the ischial spine and goes up typically you need a seven hole plate and uh, it's a straight plate so you need to see that two plates can easily come on the posterior column but uh, their positioning has to be such that they don't take away the space of each other so thank you very much that's all for the contouring of the posterior column plates gopro stop recording